Hey, 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 it's your girl Stacy, and it's finally time again for the weekend vlog. So first I want to apologize because I have been sick um, for the past two weeks or so. And then um, I've been out of town. Uh, my grandmother passed, so I you know went to the funeral and everything. So I'm finally back. And I wanted to share with you guys, and I mentioned this on Facebook um, and on Instagram, that once I got totally better, I was going to do a review of the medicines that I used. Um, and there, there are a lot of medicines, I'm looking at my boxes down here, there are a lot of medicines that I used, but I wanted to uh, just say that they weren't all at once. Like I ran out and you know, when I went back to the store, I got a different kind to see if that would help. So that's why I have a plethora of medicines. So first let me tell you what I had. I don't know if it was a bad cold or if it, um, it I feel like it turned into a sinus infection um, because I was really heavy, congested um, in my head and I did have a cough and I still do have that kind of dry cough every now and then. If I don't, you know, stay hydrated or if I get too hot, I'll start coughing. So I'm praying during this video that I don't have one of my coughing spells. So, um, one of the, what I first started out using is this. I had to look. It's Advil cold and sinus. Because I thought it was just like my sinuses acting up. But then it developed into that scratchy throat and stuff. So I knew it was more than just allergies. But this was very good, and I had had this, so I just finished it off. Um, I will buy this again. It, it did help. It relieved the headache, um, and it did relieve the pressure. So it was very good. I was satisfied with this. But when I went back to the store, I felt like I needed more of a cold, cold medicine. So I got this. I got the Alka-Seltzer uh, Plus Severe Sinus Cold and Cough. This worked well. Um, my boyfriend also had the cold and he also, he got these, but he, I don't know. I never saw his box, but his was, he said his tablets were blue, but it was severe. I, he probably didn't have the sinus aspect. I've been thinking he just had the severe cold and cough, but it worked for him too. So Alka-Seltzer is a good product. I will buy them again. Um, now mm -hmm. I've told many of you that I'm a diabetic. And I found this for my cough, so I had to get it. Um, and it was very helpful. It didn't do anything for my congestion and like the mucus and sinus stuff, but for the cough suppressant and getting the phlegm up or mucus up. I know that sounds really gross, but it is what it is, guys. I'm giving you the real. This was very good, and um, it just tastes like regular Robitussin. I don't like cough syrup anyway, but um, this was good. This was the second thing I bought. I had another cough syrup that I was using. It was the CVS, just regular brand, um, cause I had that itchy throat at first, so I wanted to get something with a sore throat. So this is the cold flu sore throat. It, it it helped, I got a little bit left. I don't know if you can see, I'm try to hold it, but I got just a little swallow left, but I know it's probably not as good for me as the diabetic um, cough syrup. Cause you gotta be careful when you have a high blood, high blood pressure and diabetes on what you take. And I probably was not supposed to be taking the Alka-Seltzer and all that, but um, I did. So that's Caesar, guys. Don't pay him any attention. It's raining outside, so he can't go outside. So he's hanging out in here and he's yawning and stretching and stuff. But this was good. It worked. Um, it, it, it worked. It helped with the head um, congestion and all that. Now, at the end of my, when I was done with the Alka-Seltzer Plus and this, um, what am I trying to say? The Advil cold and sinus. I still had like mucus in my nose and um, that cough. So I, I've i always been a big fan of Mucinex. I know you guys have seen the commercial and they're like, goodbye to mucus. They're telling the truth. That little joker is gone. So I got these um, and I just finished my second pack last week because it's only like 20 tablets in there. So if you take them as directed like every four hours, you're going to run out. But these were really good. It got rid of the phlegm. It got rid of the mucus. It helped with the cough. Like it's still lingering now a little bit, but I really feel like now this is just my sinuses. So I have some um, Zyrtec D. 
And of course, I have it right here to show you guys. Now, this is my everyday. If I'm not if I'm not congested, I take the regular Zyrtec. Um, but what's that? What's a glare? I was like, what is that? And the camera's the glare. Um, I take the regular Zyrtec because I just have allergies, period. Um, you know, so I have to have some kind of antihistamine every day. But if I am congested, this is what I take. Okay, so that was a side note. But back to the Mucinex. This is the bomb.com. This is my standby. I always use this. Uh, but I, like I said, I had more of that sore throat stuff at first. So I was trying to stick with the cough syrups and all this. But this, this wrapped it up and sealed the deal for me. And got me feeling a lot better. Now, one thing with all of these, you need to take a lot, drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. Juices and stuff too. Um, again, I got to be careful with the juices that I drink and the amount of juice that I drink because of my diabetes. But um, also, I'm not a big fan of orange juice. I know I'm weird, but I like apple juice, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, grape juice, that kind of thing. So I will drink that. Um, you know, so that helps. Uh, now, as a supplement to all the other stuff I was doing, I used the, and this is the CVS brand. Um, I used the Vicks Vapor Rub, and I had had this container for a long time because what I do, guys, um, and this is, I posted this on Facebook too. My cousin in California that had, well, they're not little ones anymore, but at the time she had a set of twins and two other little ones, and they all would get sick at the same time. So she would rub this on the bottom of their feet at night before they went to bed and put socks on them. And this will stop the coughing. And it really works. And I've heard other people say similar things about this. Um, so this is why I had it. I was doing this as an everyday thing anyway, just to stay well in the winter. So I was about out. So um, after this was gone, I saw this. And this is um, an all-natural vapor rub. It's uses eucalyptus, wintergreen, and peppermint. It smells really good. It's petroleum free. Um, it smells really good. Um, I'm I'm finishing up this container. We're not finishing up, but this is probably what I'll be using for the next month or so. But I am going to go back to Vicks or the CVS brand because it's just something because it's Vicks. I, I just like that better. But I used that on my chest while I was sick and that helped break it up um, on my uh, neck. And I put a little bit under my nose, like right here. That helped um, open me up and help me breathe. So those were the things that I did. Um, I did drink, like I said, lots of water, tea. Um, I ate a lot of fruit again, being careful on the amount I was eating because you know, of my diabetes, but that's what I did. Now I did not try this, but people told me to do, it. I didn't have a fever, but maybe one or two days, but, um, people told me that you could cut up an onion and put in your sock at night and in the morning the, the onion would have pulled all the fever out and you you know they say the onion would change colors and stuff I can't stand the smell of onions and I especially don't want it in my bed so um, I didn't try that but that's just another bonus I thought I'd throw out there for you guys what else oh and I probably shouldn't share this but I did this as well I had some dental work done earlier this year so I had a little a few of my antibiotics left so to help jump start me feeling better, I self-diagnosed and took some of the antibiotics and it was amoxicillin and it did work because it did clear up the color of my phlegm, I'll just say that. So that let me know that helped get the infection out. I don't advise you guys to do that. Go to your doctor, get your, um, you know, get your diagnosis and you may not need antibiotics. You're not supposed to just be taking them. I know all this. I made an educated decision because I was raised by a doctor. I knew my symptoms. I get this gunk every year. And also, I worked at a drugstore all through high school and a lot of college. So I kind of knew my symptoms and, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm not endorsing that people do that. Don't do that. That's not good. But that's what I did. I'm just being transparent, guys. It's Sunday, and I'm telling the truth. I'm being transparent. So, um, yeah. So I'm feeling better. You might still hear a little congestion. But believe me, it's 500 times better than what I was. But like I said, every season I get that sinus infection type thing. Um, but I am doing better. So I want to thank people for that. Oh, and what I ate other than the fruit, I lived off of. Um, I got egg drop soup from the Chinese restaurant and chicken noodle soup from 
Chick-fil-A has great um, chicken noodle soup when you are feeling bad. That is the winner. Um, you know, I could have gone out and bought a can of Campbell's and all. I didn't want to do that. I got soup from Panera. I got their broccoli and cheese soup. They also have a chicken soup, but I wanted something thick that day. And I also, we have Wegmans Grocery Store, which is probably like a, what, for those in North Carolina, maybe like a Harris Teeter, maybe a Whole Foods. It's kind of upscale, but they have everything, too. It's not all organic and stuff like a lot of Whole Foods is. It's, it's just a really nice grocery store for those of you who don't know what it is. But anyway, I would go there um, at lunch or at dinner time and get some soup and bring them. They have different soups of the day. So depending on what they had is what I would get. But that helped me a lot. And um, just rest. I try to get rest, even though I did work a couple of days. Um, well, most of the time, I only took off a day and a half. I did end up having to cancel one of my classes at Strayer because I, that one night, it had just knocked me down and I just couldn't function. So I did have to cancel one night. But that's really what I did. And people, whatever this thing is that's going around, other people have had it. And they have said that cough and the stuffiness kind of lingers you know, a couple of weeks after, and I think that's where I am. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better. So, I, like I said, the products I share with you are good. Um, I didn't do the NyQuil, DayQuil thing. Just being honest, when I've had stuff like this in the past, NyQuil put me to sleep and I felt better at night. But to me, DayQuil did nothing for me during the day. I didn't feel any better, Any, you know. I've used some of the Tylenol cold products. They helped but just truthfully, the Mucinex, this cough syrup, really did the trick for me. Um, so that's kind of my standby thing is what I go by. What else? I feel like I got to cram everything in here with you guys. And I'm looking around for like reminders of something that I might want to share with you guys. Um, I, like I said, I've been gone for so long. It's been like two weeks since I did my vlog. Two, almost three weeks. So I'm just trying to cram everything in. I'm not doing Christmas decorations yet. It's just too early for me. In my mind, I just carved the turkey. I'm not ready to be decorating yet. Usually, I decorate my house around the middle of December, around the 12th or um, 15th, something like that. I still got my pumpkins on my stoop, and the trash man does not come until Tuesday. So, I'll trash the pumpkins on Tuesday because it will officially be December. And I'll get rid of that, but I'm just, I'm not doing that yet. I don't, Thanksgiving and Christmas are two separate holidays for me, so I'm not doing that. Um, what else? Um, like I mentioned, my grandmother passed. Her funeral was yesterday. It was a very nice service. Even though it was a sad occasion, I got to see a lot of my family members, which was great. Um, so, grandmother was 98, lived a great life, um, and I know she's happy now. Um, and at peace. So I'm at peace. I, I did take, I did take an additional day tomorrow for, you know, bereavement day just cause I'm doing fine, but you know, it's still sad. That's my grandma. So I'm not gonna talk about that much cause I don't want to cry anymore. But anyway, I'm good. For those of you who know what's going on and have been thinking about me and texting me and calling me, I'm good, but I won't be working tomorrow, but you know, just I'm good. Uh, what else? I think that's it guys it's a lot that I want to come back and share I'll probably start doing like holiday tips safety tips for you around the holidays at work I sent out some um and maybe I'll print that and share that with you I sent out how to stay safe during Thanksgiving as far as like your cooking like how to prepare your foods and store your foods after Thanksgiving just stuff like that little tips I want to share those kind of things with you um, to keep us safe because everybody's eating and stuff at um, the holidays. Maybe my next blog or vlog will be about potlucks. The holiday potlucks. Dun, dun, dun. I don't like potlucks. So, and I know a lot of our friends don't like potlucks. And over the um, holiday weekend, we talked about potlucks. Some. So, maybe I'll do potlucks next week and talk about that. Like the do's and don'ts at potlucks. So, um, until next week, guys, I see this video is going on a little bit longer than I planned, but I just felt like I had to cram in so much because I missed you guys. And I also found out, let me just throw this in too, at the funeral yesterday, like some of my cousins and my aunts that I didn't even know were subscribing to my channel 
are subscribing and watching me every day and they were like are you gonna vlog anytime soon so yes this is for you guys thank you so much i'm waving at you guys so thank you i'm glad y'all watch um pass it on tell your friends everybody because I'm trying to make this fun and encouraging and informative. So if anybody has topics that you want me to cover, you know, let me know. Inbox me, email me, um, post it on Facebook, Instagram, etc. And let me know what you want to talk about. But I think for now, next week, I'll do holiday potlucks or holiday cooking, the do's and don'ts or something like that. So anyway, until next week, y'all. I'm glad to be back. Holla.